What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Danny, aka Puerto Rican Face Mendoza, in the building. And um, let's say, what's good, Hearthstoners? What's good, gamers? What's good, uh, Yu Gi Oh fans out there? Your boy made it. Yes, that's right. I achieved legend this month, uh, August of 2017. Um, it was a long fought journey, but the win percentage is really high. I want to say that for the most part, I probably got like a 50, 57 to 60% win rate this month, which is really good in Hearthstone because um, essentially what happens is like you want your win percentage to be higher because um, if you're if you're at 50%, then uh, you know you're not you're stuck. You're in the, right in the middle and you're not going up, even if you're at 51%. It'll take you longer, but it'll be like a slow, slow grind. But anything above 50%, usually you want to be at about 53 to 55% to try to make it, but you have to play a lot of games. So the higher your percentage is in Hearthstone of winning, the faster you get there. But I did it with um, with Jay Druid. Uh, I, play, I played an unconventional version of it. Like I only played one Earthen Rings. And um, and I played Double Doomsayer, and the double doom the double Doomsayer was amazing because if you um play if you um if you match that up with Spreading Plague, which is what I usually did, like so against the Mirror Match, I would play Spreading Plague, and then I would play the Doomsayer, and essentially that would wipe the board, and then I just dropped like double Jades, and that would put me ahead of any Jade deck, like that was always the game plan and then against aggro you know you, they, they whittle down their own resources and then eventually you just do that move and and then the board's completely yours again so it was a tough fought road um lots of mage decks lots of priest decks uh the stupid servitude you know Obsidian Rage was the last guy I had to play against, and he brought out Obsi the the. Well, it's not it's not Obsidian Rage. It's Obsidian Statue, but you might as well just. That's what people are calling the deck Obsidian Rage, because. But he brought back Obsidian, uh, Statue like, I swear like, five times I think, and he was doing it with Shadow Visions, getting the extra copy, and so I had to keep like. I kind of outplayed him in a way where. Not even like the guy played really good, but like I essentially what I I did was I was I made it so um, I I and I'd always had a chance to put in some kind of damage, so I would put extra minions out, kill his obsidian statue, and then hopefully hope that it targeted one that was just fresh a freshly minion that came out and it worked because then I put in five more damage to his face and then and then the um. You know, just just kept applying pressure, making sure that it was really low, and then eventually I got three jades on board, and he was like, he just he just uh, quit with 14 health because my jades are like uh, nine nine, and ten ten, and eleven eleven. So <sighs> the, the strength, the strength of getting there. In the beginning I got there with with a lot. I, I played a lot of mage, elemental mage, because I was excited about it and it was really good. And that's what got me like into um into the tenth rank and the fifth rank, but then I played J Druid um through the through uh, ranks five through one, so it's a good day. Got it on the last day. Uh, hit that legend, baby, legend. More videos to come, man. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Click on the bottom. Your boy made it. Your boy made it. <laughs> Puerto Rican face Mendoza out the building this time. Um, exclusive videos coming uh, real soon. Um, so stay tuned.